Now here, if you're looking to collaborate, you might want to talk to FlexLink, who have a collaborative robot. Um, Andy, tell me a little bit more about the technology that you're showcasing here today. Okay, the collaborative robot's a little bit different to a lot of the other collaborative robots you see in the exhibition. But what we're actually offering is a packaged unit, so it's a collaborative palletizing robot. Uh, for those people that perhaps don't know what collaborative robot is, it means that it doesn't need any additional guarding on the robot cell itself. You see when you look at the cell, it's quite a small footprint and the robot's perfectly safe to, for operators to work alongside. It has obviously safety features, features built into the drives on the robot and also additional sensors on the robot. So if it comes into contact with anybody or anything, it stops immediately. So it will prevent any damage to anybody. As a package cell, it's also fully CE marked, which is another important thing for the UK marketplace at the moment. And the purpose of this particular demonstration, you'll see that it's got two pallets, one on either side of the robot. It will stack and load to one pallet position. At the moment, you can just see it raising so that it can get to another layer. It will stack up to 1.9 meters high. The object of the exercise here is that one person can be changing over a stacked pallet while it still operates and loads to the second pallet position. So it gives you a continual flow of operation for the unit itself. Great, well it certainly ticks many boxes including the health and safety ones, which I know everyone's always careful to tick. Um, let's talk about the efficiency. Do you know how it's helped uh, industries that you work with or companies that you work with to, to increase their efficiency? Yes, I mean one of the big things obviously in terms of company efficiency these days is they need to try and lower the cost of manufacture of their items and one of the key things unfortunately is obviously labour costs for a lot of people and of course reliability of labour. A number of our customers uh, are looking at it in terms of payback and the units can actually pay back themselves in less than 200 days in a lot of applications purely by the labour savings that can be made. And when I say labour savings, the people are often deployed elsewhere in the factory. Um, but it also helps with things like RSI claims and RSI injuries because doing operations such as this where you're loading boxes onto the floor or almost the floor and then stacking them up to 1.9 metres high is not a very easy, not a very nice operation for somebody to do continuously throughout the day. So this robot takes away that um, need for to have somebody doing that and obviously then potentially in the future takes away the RSI claims. The other thing I know that you mentioned before is Brexit and a lot of people are a little bit fearful now of, of losing that cheaper labour that's coming from the European marketplace and this is where this unit again replaces those people and obviously does it economically for the customer at the end of the day. Super. So you've been around uh, in Milton Keynes for over 30 years. It sounds like you have a good insight on where the industry has been. Any other thoughts on where the industry is going and how you're hoping to stay ahead of that? Well, the collaborative robot, primarily we do a lot of conveying systems, so we're into automation systems. The collaborative robot for us is a new venture for us because that's the way we see things going. We see things going more along the robot route, uh, so there's less reliance upon uh, operators uh, turning up every day for work, and you've got robots that can form, perform those tasks for people. And obviously, as you can see here, they can now perform them safely alongside operators. The fear before was they always had to be caged away from people. Well, the collaborative robots that we've now got uh, take that away. Great. Well, I hope you find lots of collaborations at the show. Thank you very much. Cheers. <laughs>